Well, hey, all you viewers to be named later. How are we doing today? I know we're in a different, you know, back in the usual filming room. I forgot to turn the light on over there. But at least it's better than the alternate filming room, right? <laughs> okay. Today's video is going to be kind of a strange one that was inspired by the cousins. That's right. Beard Talk with Kyle and Joe. These guys came out and they dropped an awesome video about the tools that they use in their man-made. And it inspired me to finally get off my butt and do this video. Now, like most of you in the beginning when I started growing things, I had no clue what was proper, what wasn't proper. I started exactly with two, 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 there we go, mm, tools from Walmart, and they were both from the Cremo line. I'm sure you've all seen the Cremo boar's hair brush, the boar's bristle brush, and their um, sandalwood comb. That's exactly what I started with. I didn't know any better, okay? I really didn't. I thought that was the greatest thing. It seemed to take forever to groom the man mane. Had lots of pulls, lots of breakage, lots of problems. I went looking for those two things, and I guess I don't have them anymore. So I can't show you my original two. But if you Google Cremo sandalwood comb, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. All right. So from there, I decided, hey, let's step up a little bit. I saw something exactly like this made by Con Air, you know, at my local Walmart. And I thought to myself, really, really cool, if you take a look in there, you got long tines and short little tines for combing through your beard. Then I thought this was the greatest thing ever, except there was points where I was going through the man main and it started pulling and tugging and doing other stuff when it got longer. It works, okay. I won't lie, it works, but it does cause problems and over time, these tines through here will break on you, or you can see a separation right through here. It just happens. I don't know why. And, yeah. So, all right. Before we get into other stuff, I tend to get ahead of myself. I haven't used a boar's bristle brush in a very long time. But the three that I have are, well, two by Royal Beardsman, just their usual straight one and this one that has a curve in it. I kind of like that one because it just works better around your cheeks when you're going through. For some reason, I have not used one in forever. I don't know why. I wish I could tell you why, but I can't. And from, you know, badass beard care, I got that guy. I thought to myself, all right, you know, pulling through. But after a while, and, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll be honest, I just haven't used them. They've just kind of fallen by the wayside. It kind of got replaced, in my opinion, with two of the best things I think I ever had. This is, well, the only one by Revlon that I've ever owned. That brush, and I like it just because of the separation and the little um, plastic dots on the top. Simply because when it goes through, it really doesn't snag, really doesn't pull. One of the best ones I found is by Con Air. And yes, excuse the gray hairs in there. But man, that thing is just beautiful how it goes, goes through my beard. This is one that I've been using second in a three-part system that I use, but I'll get to that in a moment. This one is beautiful when I'm brushing my beard up in the mornings to kind of get product all the way through and covered through. This works phenomenal. I haven't had any pulls, haven't had any damaging, and when I clean it out, it really works beautiful in the cuteness factor's hair because her hair, for some reason, loves getting rats, and that really separates through. You know those little knots that your daughter's hairs get? Yeah. So... I saw a video by Nancy Bearded, and I started getting intrigued by oxhorn combs. And, well, I have this problem when I start collecting stuff to use, I get a bunch of them. All right. I currently have four. <laughs> I got the small one by Badass Beard Care. I haven't used it as much since I got it. I found a really, really weird one on Amazon, which looks really strikingly similar to one I got from Ready Man Grooming. This one I kind of use a lot. I really love this one out of all my oxhorn combs. But the one that takes the cake and the one that I go to the most and it's in my daily ritual is this guy right here. Seriously, it's like a 12 buck one from Amazon. I saw the Dan C. Bearded video on it, how he said it was a game changer for him with the handle and the ability to control. And I really, truly like this. So I started using this a lot. But then I started seeing videos about Chicago Combs. Well, I started with a number one. Now, for some people, this works wonders. 
this does not work well in my beard for some reason. I don't know why. Every time I go through, it tears, it pulls, it does a lot of stuff in my beard. Unless there's product in there, then it just seems to glide through. But if I'm using it in the morning just to pull things out, nope, lots of tears, lots of pulls, lots of snags. Haven't really used this one that much. The next one I got in, I thought, okay, well, maybe I'm doing something a little different. Was there number two? I thought, okay, maybe I need it a little shorter, maybe a little bit more control. No, this has become my mustache comb. It seriously has. It just, you know, glides through, no problem. Doesn't really give me any problems in the mustache. So I use a number two. And by the way, I'm going to leave links for as many of these things as I can down below in the description box if you guys may want to purchase them. So, because of the cousins, I went out and got these next two items, okay? This has been a game freaking changer for me. They're number seven pick. I never thought as a white boy I'd be ever using a pick. And no, that's not racist, that's not derogatory. I never thought I'd use one. This is the first thing I go to in the morning when I'm going through my beard ritual, which I'll get in just a second. This has been a game changer for me. The last comb... I gotta show you. Yeah, where are you? It's their number eight. Oh my god, I love this thing. This has replaced this. It really has. This thing just glides right through. This thing's just beautiful. This thing's just easy. It's just easy peasy. Oh my god, it does phenomenal. All right, so those are the ones that I use. Now about the how-to thing. Well, I'm going to try to do it as best as possible, but I got stuff in my beard right now. I don't really want to screw up, so I'm going to show you as best I can. For this, I just basically pull through kind of at an angle, work it through, and, you know, just bring it all the way down. I'll do it going down, and I'll turn on reverse it and come up with it. It gets in there. It helps separate stuff. It helps detangle things. It helps go through. Now, when I have it brushed all the way up and out, that's when I apply my beard oil. I work it in there, get it going, get it going, get it going. Then I go to this bad boy and just start brushing my beard straight up. All the way around, straight up until basically it's sticking straight out. And that's when I go to this and I just finish by just combing it through. Nice and easy, no problems. But that's what I use, guys. I know this probably just seems like a strange video. I honestly don't know what to say in one of these other than this is what I've used, this is what I've tried, and this is what I'm using now. Seriously, my morning beard routine is only three items. I don't use a cool bar. I don't use a heated thing, I've never used a hair dryer. I've gotten some great tips by the cousins on how to do it. I've gotten some great stuff from Dan C how to do it. You know, but that's mine. All right. Now we're at the fun part of the video. I want to know your questions, comments, love, hatred, anger, whatever, down below in the comments section. And yeah, I'm leaving these up, so maybe one of these will catch for the thumbnail, right? <laughs> but, you know, I'd love to know what tools do you use? I mean, do you have favorite go-to tools in the morning? Have you bought a lot of beard-related um, grooming products, you know? Because I seem to have acquired a bunch of them. And it's just weird how you start with one, you go to an X, you go to an X, you go to an X, you go to an X. But, you know... I guess that's part of the fun of this beard journey is <clears throat> finding what works for you and finding what doesn't work for you, right? Now, with that fun stuff being said, if you're a first-time viewer of my channel, I just want to say thank you so very much for viewing this video. Look, I know we do things a little bit differently here on the channel, and I'm grateful for the time that you're giving me today. Now, for you first-time viewers and you long-time viewers of the channel, well, you know, I'd like to know, why haven't you subscribed yet? Why don't you just leave me a comment right down below what I can do to earn your subscription. You never know what feedback you may give me, which may generate a massive change to the channel. After you've done all that fun stuff, look right down there. You're going to see a big channel symbol popping up. Go ahead, click on that thing. It's going to bring you right to subscribe. After you've gone ahead and knocked that out the way, please destroy the bell icon that's right next to it. Why? Great question. Because it's going, YouTube will be able to notify you, my amazing viewer, every single time this channel uploads a video. Now, speaking of those videos that we love so much on YouTube, two will be popping up right over here somewhere. Those are going to be videos that YouTube is going to select from my catalog that they feel are going to be a great viewing experience for you. But there we go, guys. My quick look at the tools I use to groom the man-man. Thanks so much for watching. I hope all of you are being safe and having an enjoyable day.